Very warm welcome here in Cologne, Special Air Mission Wing uh, from the German Air Force. Uh, I'm Günter Straub, uh, Sergeant Major. We are fly uh, today uh, from Cologne to Tiflis, Georgia. So now we are in the uh, passenger uh, control area in the terminal, uh, like uh, on the civil side from the airport called uh, Bonn. Uh, and now we are going to the check-in. Hello, have a nice flight. Good morning, Eclipse visitors. Uh, this is the German Air Force crew for the A310 uh, from the German Air Force in Cologne. Uh, we are have, um, conducting a flight today to Tiflis in Georgia. And I welcome you to visit us and to join us in this flight and uh, I hope you have fun and enjoy. At the moment, just to uh, complete this, um, we are in the uh, preparations of the flight. We have already uh, conducted some of the uh, briefing items and at the moment we are finalizing all the stuff for the uh, operational flight plans and our flight plan and uh, then we are good to go. Yeah, we already uh, checked the NODEMs and um, now we uh, have to check the diplo clearance for, for the route and um, yeah, then we are good to go. We already um, planned uh, the uh, fuel calculation and um, today we have an outblock fuel of 40 tons and um, yeah now we uh, will check the uh, diplo clearance numbers. Today um, our flight to uh, Tbilisi um, on the way uh, to T uh, Tbilisi it will be a ferry flight and uh, on the way back uh, we will uh, board uh, 120 uh, passengers and uh, some cargo. Okay then uh, let's continue with the uh, flight Diplo clearances. Okay, you read, I check. Yep. Oh. Armenia 079 Check. Bulgaria EU8. Okay, now check for the routings. I read, you confirm. Yep. Cologne SID Cumic uh, L603 Tesca. Upper Lima 603 Isati. Upper Lima 984 Tango 842 Ebana. Tango 841 Airnap start to Cologne. Yep. Okay. And all is checked. And uh, you will check the NOTEMS? Yep. So there is only one NOTEM for Tiflis. So the uh, runway 31 right is closed for landing and takeoffs. But this does not affect us because we were landing on the parallel runway. Okay. Sounds good. Now we are ready with our preparations and uh, we will pack our stuff together and we will leave to the aircraft. If you like, come with us. Yeah, also long and clear. Okay, uh, let's uh, enter the INIP page. Go ahead. We have a block fuel of 40 tons. 40.1 tons. Our zero fuel weight is 85.5. 85.5. 
uh, which is uh, 125.3 tons takeoff weight. Roger. Zero fuel CG is uh, 27.6. 27.6. Should be 23.6 for takeoff. 3.8, perfect. 3.8. Point eight. Uh, just a trim of one point five nose up on my side. One point five sounds good. Yep. I want five point three for the takeoff. Okay, so, so we have uh, takeoff calculation. Yeah. Um, acceleration altitude, 1,900 feet. All right. Let's go into the runway weight charts for the uh, takeoff runway 24 in Cologne. The uh, weather is uh, wind variable with three knots. So let's choose a uh, five knots tailwind component. Okay. One to five point three, one to five point one, one to six point six, to six point six, which gives us a flex of forty seven. Flex plus forty seven. Uh, flex plus forty seven. We are field length and obstacle limited. Uh, zero meters remaining, except the uh, flex value. So initial speeds uh, 146, 152, 156. Uh, so the corrections uh, for the QNH, which is uh, greater than uh, standard, no corrections. So uh, we do not need uh, engine anti ice correction. The weather is fine and the runway is dry. So uh, the weight corrections, weight differences 126.6 to 125.3, uh, 1. 0.3 tons, so I would suggest uh, one knot for we one, and the rest can remain the same. Yeah, yeah. remain the okay. same. So one for five, v one, one five two, and one five six. Two. Okay, so we are on the safe side when we subtract one knot for the v one. Let's bug the speeds, v two, and the green dot speed. Uh, one five six and green dot speed minimum clean two two five. All right. So um, in case of engine five failure after go, we will fly the special engine out SID at three dme KBO frequency one one two decimal one five. Right turn to Vipper. Frequency 109.6. Enter the holding at Vipper. 360 inbound. Left hand turns. Acceleration altitude 1900 feet. And due to the MSA of 3800 feet, uh, we climb to 4000 feet. Copied. No questions. No questions, alright. This will finish our takeoff performance calculation. And now we will perform the uh, NAV 8 setup. Okay, we are preparing the ILS approach number 24 for an immediate return. The frequency is 109.1. 109.1. The inbound course is 243. 109.1, the frequency inbound 243. Okay, and then we have a frequency setup. Uh, for the NDBs, yep. Uh, in the bearing distance line, uh, we put uh, Vipper VOR and KBO in the remote too. Roger. So the NAV8 setup is complete. We have the Kumik 5 Delta that is 700 feet. Yeah. Uh, Delta Kilo 021, Delta Kilo 022. Check. Cola. Check. Delta Kilo 150, Kumik. Initial climb 5000 and initial track 243. We 
Remain on tower frequency until passing 2000, then contact Lung Radar on 13535. 13535 is copied. Else we have no constraints. And do you have any questions? No. Roger. So uh, I will uh, finish my copy preparation. Enter the uh, landing elevation from TBC. Landing your warning test and the GPWS test. Flight slope. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Okay, and in the meantime, I will perform the walk around if you like. Yep. Join me. Okay, guys, uh, now we are walking uh, around the aircraft just to make sure that everything is all right. This is our final check before we go airborne. Okay, we are following a fixed scheme around the aircraft. And you just follow me, I go ahead, all right? First, we have to check the engines, if there is any damage in it. Here we have the static parts, and they have to be clear. We have the same thing on the other side for the co-pilot, right? to check all the wheels for any damages and there's a great where indicators are in check and uh, that we have no no consequences when we are braking. Okay, it's very important that all the locks are closed. This is what I have to have an eye on. should have already been closed. I hope it will be done before we go take off. Oh, and here it's the same. The wheels and the brakes. It's a very funny thing here. We have some static and uh, dischargers on the rear edges of the wings, and uh, I have to really count them if they are complete. Okay, just let's check the latches if they are all closed, and I'm pretty sure it's all good. So we step back on the aircraft and prepare for takeoff, okay? So, wie sieht's aus? Alles klar, wer nicht mit will, raus. Okay, the outside check was complete. All doors are closed. And we are good to go. 10 Uhr. Uh, let's check the new ATIS. Okay. Right, unchanged. Yep. 
then request startup and clearance. Yeah. Start. Gibbons. Removed. Peter Static. Check. Kevin Sign. On on. Beacon. On. Oxygen system. Checked. Take off speed. One five. Correction. One four five. One five six. Uh, one four five. One five six. We are one five uh, two altimeters. One zero one seven. Two hundred and twenty. One zero one seven. QNH two hundred and thirty feet. Fuel. Forty tons. Standard. Uh, TRP. Flex plus forty seven. Speed brake. Arm. Parking brake. On. B4 start checklist completed. Okay, come on, cockpit. Cockpit hurt. We're ready to start all engines. Uh, engine 2, then 1. Engine 2 and 1, clear. Engine 2 start. 2355, continue via Alpha, stand Charlie 6, stand by for the Marshal up. He's only 2 on duty. Hello, question. Papa on Taco. Ground, ready to start engine one. Engine one start. Uh, during engine start, we have to wait for the N2 rotation, check if all the hydraulic fluids are on, and uh, then at 18% of the N2 rotation, I open the fuel valves. This is now. Now we have to check for the fuel flow and for ignition and the rising of all our rotating parts of the engine. And at 45% of the N2 rotation, we're waiting for the cutoff signal for the bleed air, which is now. And checking the open light extinguishers. Roger, all engines are running, we are good. After start items. Call cockpit. Ground hold. Prepare aircraft for leaving and give hand signal. Was ein Signal vom Lab. Bye. Gut Flug. Danke, ciao. Taxi items, sleds 15. Sleds 15. Uh, we're waiting for the ground crew to be clear of the aircraft and uh, as soon as he gives our hand signal we can prepare for taxi checking the rudders for right for left okay there's our hand signal <coughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, the taxi checklist. Yep. Taxi NTIs of trim zero zero and one point five nose up. Zero zero one point five nose up flight control checked sled flaps fifteen zero taxi check this completed go for taxi. Come back out one point German Air Force five six nine uh, request taxi to go. Right side is clear. Right side. Left side clear. 
Auf Block 5 nach. Jawohl, Sie. 1005. Right side is clear. And hold short, holding short, one for, one for right. Yeah. right. Uh, six doors and slide. Yep. One config now for takeoff. Take off departure briefing. Yeah. Perform a takeoff from the runway 47-15-0 From the left seat noise abatement We are proceeding on the Kumik 5 Delta departure as briefed In case of engine fire or failure after go we proceed on the special EOSIT as briefed before Hello. Copied, no questions Yeah, we had an off-block time of 1.005 which was uh, actually 5 minutes late um, I guess it is inside the limits and uh, unfortunately we have to go the long way around today in Cologne because the crosswind runway 24 is uh, in use due to work in progress on the main runway 14 left. Now we're crossing the uh, long uh, parallel runway 14 left, which is closed due to work in progress. And um, then we proceed on. Max und Flex. Prof enough. Ja. Okay, 
Okay, Approach Sector ist clear, Departure Sector ist clear. Wir haben cleared auf Take-Off. Yep. Ready? Ready. Yeah, we have received our takeoff clearance and now we are going. Take off, side left. Take off one five. Copied.
Ja, I have a team. You have a team. Again. Okay, you have RT, we are cleared in Bond Tesca, flight level 250. Yeah, copied. We are in up mode and profile mode. Yep. So, at flight level 205. Uh, fuel pumps up, uh, pumping now. Fuel from the uh, center tank to the trim tank. Clip viewers, um, I just uh, thought that it would be interesting for some of you guys uh, to give a short overview about uh, the cockpit layout. Um, yeah, here we have uh, on the left side uh, the captain seat or commander, on the right side the first officer, and on the main panel we have the main flying instruments that are mirrored on both sides. We have the same setup, which is the uh, primary flight display and the navigation display and uh, then we have some old-fashioned uh, uh, clock-like instruments that are digital but uh, they are uh, repeated uh, in analog uh, instruments just to make sure that uh, the uh, pilots from the old-fashioned aircraft uh, have uh, such big problems uh, to convert to a modern digital aircraft which uh, A310 is yeah, here in the middle we have an uh, untypical uh, flight joke and uh, yeah, Airbus ha Industries has uh, now converted to the side stick technology uh, but due to the age of this aircraft which is almost or over 30 years now uh, we do have still our um, fly-by-wire but it is a real steel wire that is directly connected to the servos and I like that 
I like that much better than the wishing stick, this joystick, <laughs> uh, the A330 will have. Yeah, okay, and uh, this is about it. And uh, in the center pedestal, we have uh, the main engine instruments. This is for the left engine and for the right engine. In uh, yeah, just underneath we have the ECAP, the electronic centralized uh, air monitoring system. And um, on the left hand there is, a, let's say, a warning display. There we get all our information when some untypical or unusual behavior of the aircraft will take place and any errors or malfunctions will be displayed and um, a main hint how we have to handle that. On uh, the uh, right display we have the, uh, the other part of the ECOM system and it's called the uh, system display. So you can, uh, on this side you have an overview over the uh, main information you need during cruise flight, like fuel, like fuel flow and the oil temperature, vibration of the engine in 1 and 2 and the uh, air conditioning uh, here in the cockpit and in the different parts of the cabin and in addition to uh, in the uh, bulk compartment in the rear part of the aircraft. Um, we have uh, different system pages. Um, as we already heard, um, all the uh, s different systems you can see in the head up in the overhead panel. You can um, bring it right on this display like the uh, hydraulic system uh, with the hydraulic distribution and the uh, different pressures uh, or the um, altered current ELEC page, um, uh, the uh, direct current page with the three batteries and the voltage indication, um, the air bleed uh, distribution, uh, air conditioning, so uh, you can you can uh, regulate the, uh, the temperature uh, in the cockpit and the cabin or the uh, cabin preservation system and um, yeah which is quite interesting the fuel system and the uh, fuel tank distribution so we have um, in total uh, six six seven seven tanks um, here in this aircraft yeah we have different other systems so the um, additional power unit in the back side of the aircraft which is now not running so only on ground so we do not need any ground power um, so this is our flight control uh, system page with the roll spoilers, um, the speed brakes, the ailerons, the elevator and the rudder. So it shows the, the present deflection of all these control surfaces. Um, door indication, so we have six ex exits and all these uh, doors are in slide. Um, yeah, and last but not least, the wheel page, uh, where um, only the main, the main uh, landing gear is indicated with the with the uh, eight wheels and the uh, present um, brake temperatures on each of these eight wheels. Here on the left side, we have all the hydraulic and uh, all the uh, servo stuff. So this is uh, the area where we can control if uh, our aircraft steering is working normally. Uh, the next panel we have some lights over there. Uh, then we have all the computers that support our flying. And above that the electronic panel. This is uh, quite small but it is very dense background over there. We have a lot of electronics in this aircraft. Um, yeah, here we have some fire handles for the left engine, the right engine and our additional power unit which is in the rear of the aircraft, you obviously know that. Then we have uh, our fuel panel in the middle and the right side we have all our heatings, window heating and the probe heatings that we have no icing. And in the right side we have our bleed panel. This is all we have to cope with engine bleed uh, for engine startup or heating of the cabin and so on. Yeah, that's it. It's, uh, it looks more than it is. <laughs> and uh, well, yeah, in the rear of the, of the cockpit, which is quite small for that size of the aircraft, uh, we have a big panel of circuit breakers. Uh, every circuit breaker, breaker that pops up has a white collar and uh, 
when we are looking for an arrow, we just have to look for white colors and uh, this is very easy to find. Newer aircraft all have that in any computers. Yeah, most probably you also would like to know what happens in this central pedestal here. Um, this is very easy to explain. Uh, on the left and the right side we have our flight computers, the flight management systems. These are also very old-fashioned and uh, the total memory of that, I think it's less than 500 kilobytes. And uh, yeah, um, we always see that it is old-fashioned because it's very, very slow and every side we are changing uh, will take some seconds. Uh, but it works very, very well and uh, we have displayed all the tracks we enter in this, this, uh, this computer here. We have displayed on the NAV computer, on the NAV display here. Um, yeah, here on this, which is not very good uh, visible at the moment due to the sun, is our TCAS, our Traffic Collision Avoidance System. Uh, it is uh, showing all the aircraft that are around us. And uh, the in that moment when they come close to our aircraft, we get a warning, uh, traffic advisory, and when it's coming, even worse, we get a resolution advisory and this is the most important computer that we have on board. Let's say one of the most. In the middle we have our thrust levers. Uh, these are controlled by the thrust control computer. This is one of those. Um, it will always get the right thrust to keep the speed that we wish to have. Uh, here's the speed brakes and over there the flaps and sleds. It's only important for landing and takeoff. These are the uh, fuel levers for our aircraft. With this I would cut off uh, the fuel for the engine immediately and it will stop running. We won't do that now. This is our parking brake. It's needed on ground. Uh, not before touchdown. This would not be very nice. But after touchdown and after parking position has been reached, we put this in and make sure that the aircraft does not roll away and before the shocks are in front of the wheels. This pedestal is uh, important for communication. We have all our radios inside here, several ones, uh, and VHF, UHF, HF. Those of you who know about these frequencies know what I mean. For the others it's not so interesting. But we can communicate with anyone on the world, even around the world on the HF channel. This is a very long wave uh, frequency and uh, with that we are able to phone from Australia to Germany in a second. Fantastic. The weather radar switch is uh, at the moment very important, no not anymore. We just uh, circumnavigated uh, some build-ups and uh, just to see uh, those build-ups even at night or uh, when they are embedded inside a cloud layer uh, we are very dependent, dependent on this instrument and it will show us like this here you sh can see the shades in, in a red, green and yellow um, where we should not fly. One thing uh, that uh, would be very interesting for you is the heart of the aircraft. It doesn't look very important, but it is. Uh, there we have our um, flight control autopilot. This is uh, 
yeah, it, it, it looks very easy and uh, simple, but it is uh, quite hard to operate sometimes. Um, uh, you have to know what happens when you use one of those knobs. Uh, I will start from the left here. Uh, here we have our speed indicator. It can be switched between the Mach indication, which is 0.81. This is the part of the speed of sound. Um, at the moment, it is 288 knots indicated, uh, which we have repeated here on the uh, primary flight display. And uh, the altitude is our selected level. It is flight level 330. And uh, this is about 10,100 meters. Uh, here we have our heading selector. It uh, can be switched uh, from a 50 degrees bank to normal bank, which is the normal rate bank that uh, is the standard setup. Underneath we have this possibility to fly via heading. I can do it by pushing in, then I center the heading knob to the front, and then I pull out, and now I'm in heading mode. I don't uh, do that very further because we are changing our course now and uh, we are flying from Dendro now to Udros and uh, the aircraft will turn in a second to follow the new course and this is done automatically in NAV mode. Uh, this is linked with our flight uh, computer here. Yeah, and last but not least we have our vertical speed over there. Uh, we can choose uh, whether we want to climb or descend and uh, also set up the uh, amount of feet per minute up or down yeah here we have some knobs uh, this is uh, the auto thrust activator I can deactivate it and now I have to uh, advance I have to operate uh, the thrust levers manually the knob operation is in auto flight mode we have automatic navigation with auto thrust we don't do it in other cases and uh, here we have our altitude hold that means the aircraft is told that is to hold the actual altitude uh, we can also do it in the profile mode over there it is linked again to our flight management system and there we have an altitude that is laid down and he will fix to it but as soon as there are little air pressure differences it will start to uh, go up and down to catch the, the, the real altitude. So altitude hold is here the best method. For level change, uh, this is uh, quite uncomfortable for passengers. If I would change the altitude now to 10,000 feet or less and pull this uh, knob over there, then it will automatically switch to level change and will actually uh, take a nose down attitude to keep up this speed. He will take back the power and only steer the uh, uh, speed via pitch. And uh, this will be a few degrees nose down uh, to keep up our actual airspeed now, about 800 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and overhead, uh, the heading and nav selector I already uh, mentioned. And uh, this is about our, oh no, one more. Um, here we have our levers for autopilot 1 and 2 because we have two of them. Normally the crew member 1, which is me, uh, uses autopilot 1 and the crew member 2 uses autopilot 2. In case of any autopilot is disengaged or out of order, we are feeling free to use the other one also.
welcome back, Captain. So those guys did not perform very well. So good to be back again. Okay, so really. You have control. Okay, I have control. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you guys should go back to school. Thank you for trying. Talking about uh, school and education. Um, so uh, when did you start your uh, flying career? Oh, I started my flying career in 1995. There was uh, basic training with Lufthansa flight training okay. in Arizona. Okay. It was uh, very nice and uh, a very good time. In your um, the um, first screening was also in Arizona in Goodyear, right? Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, we already have been uh, in Arizona f for about two months for the. Okay. Uh, Initial flight flight training that was on the Beach Bonanza F-33. Oh, cool! A nice aircraft, powerful. And, uh, we had about 12, uh, 12 hours of flying until the first single flight. Okay. Solo flight. Uh, by the way, in 1998, I started flying in uh, the C-160 Transal. Ah, oh, cool! Was a very nice experience. Yep. Well, I uh, did not have uh, the uh, the chance to uh, fly the uh, C-160. Uh, Transal, so um, uh, they changed the aircraft uh, in uh, Bremen, so I think you had your education on the uh, Piper Cheyenne. That's right. And um, they changed the aircraft to uh, Citation CJ1+, and um, a quite modern, small uh, jet aircraft. After the, after the uh, time in Bremen, which took, I think, the education took uh, uh, two years in total, and uh, it was divided into four parts, so it changes between theoretical education and the practical part. And um, after those two years, um, you um, were uh, you have to go to either uh, uh, to the uh, special air mission wing to Cologne or the air transport wing either to uh, uh, Wunsdorf uh, near Hannover or. Um, to uh, Hohen uh, near Hamburg or near to uh, the air transport wing to, I think it was uh, Penzing uh, in the near of uh, Munich. Munich. Yes. So I had the, uh, I was uh, very glad that um, that I uh, could start the uh, flying career and the uh, got the type rating on the A310 uh, directly after Bremen at the special air mission wing in, in Cologne. Yeah. Uh, for me, it is one of the greatest aircraft in the world. A310. I like that. Greatest aircraft in the world. Um, uh, it's not the no. greatest, like great, but it's it's great, great. Yeah, great. <laughs> Here, but the days of the A310 are counted. Yes, that's true. Next aircraft after the A310 will be the A330, which is a actually a fly-by-wire aircraft. Yeah. On the one hand, I'm looking forward to it. On the other hand, I think I will I will miss the miss the old-fashioned uh, flying with the A310. I also will definitely. And uh, what what is your uh, what what do you like best with flying? I like the most the manual flying, especially with this type of aircraft. Yeah, I like best uh, the takeoff phase. When you feel the power of the aircraft, especially this aircraft, yeah. When uh, you are climbing, maybe through a thin cloud layer, yeah. and you see how it's going down, and the blue sky is coming up, yeah. And you see the sun. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I like that too. And what do I like? Also like a lot is the different kind of operation. So sometimes. Um, you fly some passengers or some soldiers uh, um, from A to B or uh, on another um, flight you have only some cargo or you can uh, convert this aircraft to a, to a, um, yeah, a tanker aircraft so that it can refuel other, other fighters. So it's, it's the mix of all these um, operations which make it very interesting to fly the A-10. Yes, you are right. What do you think? Shall we tell the viewers something about the uh, aircraft itself? About the aircraft itself? The and performance, uh, the, yeah, the weights, perform? the uh, fuel capacities. Yeah, why not? Yeah, some facts about the uh, performance of the aircraft and some 
some basic data. So we have a maximum takeoff weight of uh, 157 tons. And in this configuration with one additional center tank, um, we can uh, uh, refuel the aircraft with uh, 54 point tons of fuel. And um, yeah, we have uh, two uh, CF6 uh, engines, which have a lot of power. And uh, when we are on a ferry flight, like on this leg to uh, Tbilisi, and we will perform a, a toga takeoff, which would be a full thrust takeoff. Um, we have a climb rate of more than 6,000 feet per minute. Well, that's no problem with this aircraft, and you you can feel you can feel the this huge amount of power that the aircraft um, uh, is is producing, and actually it, it's a lot of fun to fly it uh, manually uh, yeah, during this phase of flight. This max flight level we can uh, we can uh, climb to is uh, flight level four one zero, which is uh, forty one thousand feet, which is about eleven kilometers. The our cruise cruise flight. Speed is uh, 0 0.80. Uh, maximum speed would be uh, 0.84 or 340 uh, knots, indicating airspeed. The total width of the aircraft is 43 meters, and it's uh, 46 meters uh, long from the nose to the tail. And um, yeah, it's a white body aircraft with a very small cockpit. Yeah, hello again. So right now we have only one hour of flying less. Um, right now we are um, in the uh, Ankara FIR. We uh, already passed the Black Sea and uh, in about 20 to 25 minutes we will cross uh, the border to the uh, Tbilisi FIR and um, one of our um, operation is that one hour prior uh, the touchdown we will pump the fuel um, from the trim tank back into the center tank uh, due to the limitation that we can uh, our, we are only allowed to touch uh, with um, two tons of fuel in the trim tank uh, but we will pump all the fuel back to the center tank yeah. i would suggest just uh, let's just do it yeah trim tank mode forward yep perfect all right so viel Mühe wie wir uns ergeben, sollten wir uns eigentlich beteiligen lassen. Ja, wirklich. <lacht> Von jedem Klick einen Cent oder so. Ja. Oder? Reicht das? Na, sagen wir einen Euro. <lacht> oh, er hört das ja. <lacht> so, Bar Game 5, bravo. So, let's... Um, let me say one word uh, to the uh, fancy electronic flight bag. We... Um, it's... Um, right now in the uh, test phase so um, uh, each of the uh, pilots got his own uh, EFB um, but due to the fact that it is um, in the test phase um, we have the uh, paper backup and so we have to cross check all the um, instrument approach charts SID charts and um, the all the um, all the charts um, in the paper form so we uh, will now prepare for the uh, for the approach into Tbilisi uh, with this uh, fancy paperwork uh, by Jefferson and um, yeah we will uh, grab the uh, standard arrival and the approach chart and the uh, airport layout and then we will uh, perform the uh, the the navet setup and the uh, approach briefing runway 31 left to you clear and drive friction coefficient Bird activity in vicinity of airport. Wind touchdown zone variable four knots. Visibility one zero kilometers. Cloud broken cumulonimbus five thousand feet. Temperature two seven degrees. Trend temporary moderate thunderstorm with rain. Thunderstorm. Airport information India out. We are now preparing our descent phase with the approach. Uh, for that we have received the ATIS, the terminal information uh, with the weather and the runway in use. And for that we are configuring our aircraft. 
Okay. Yep. ILS runway 31. So runway 31 left is in use, so we are preparing for an ILS approach runway 31 left. Okay, here we have uh, Tbilisi, runway 31 left with the ILS. The frequency is 108.9. 108 uh, 108 Niner, the inbound course 312 108 Niner 312 and we have the outer marker November Alpha 211 active on ADF2 yeah, 211 is active, uh, we have one more it is uh, Victor Papa 342 on ADF-1 342 on ADF-1, yeah Bearing distance uh, Bearing distance uh, will be the uh, threshold of uh, 31 left yeah. in uniform Golf Tango Bravo yeah. and remote 2 will be set up uh, with the VOR uh, Tiflis Tango Bravo Sierra TBS, yeah Tango Bravo Sierra remote of T1 2 set okay uh, we are approaching via the uh, uh, Bark M7 Bravo arrival uh, frequency of uh, Tango Bravo Sierra 113.7 or 113.0 it is 113.7 one, one set okay yeah we are approaching via the standard arrival route uh bargain bargain bravo. seven bravo seven bravo yeah this is according to our flight plan it might still change later on bargain seven set. bravo is uh yeah okay and uh, this will lead us to the VOR, Tango Bravo Sierra. Yeah. From that, uh, we expect some radar vectors, and uh, that will lead us onto the final of the ILS. In case we are flying the standard ILS procedure, we starting from the VOR in 6,000 feet until the reversal in 4,500. The final approach starts at 8.6 TME with a three degrees glide slope. Um, uh, sorry, the 3.2 degrees uh, glide slope. Yeah. Um, down to the outer marker, which uh, have to be crossed at uh, 2,320 feet. Um, the minimum will be set at uh, 1,758. 1,758 set. This is uh, 200 feet above ground. Yeah. And uh, it's a climb, Larry. Yeah. Uh, in case of missed approach, we. Sorry. Contact with one three three four to proceed. Air Force five six nine. Jump. Give the radar. Good up. Air Force five six nine. Three three zero. Approaching rolling. Air Force five six nine. Turn left. Turn right. 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 Turn left. Okay, that is copied. Yeah, return to the final approach. In case of missed approach, uh, we will have 3.3% uh, uh, climb gradient. Yeah, at a minimum, which is no factor for us. And uh, following the missed approach procedure, climb on radial 312 from Tiflis VOR to 4,900 feet, then turn left to VOR, climbing to 6,000, yeah. then as directed by ATC. Okay. The transition altitude, uh, correction, the transition level is uh, 900. Yeah. The MSA is 8,900 in the northern sector. Yeah. It's yeah. the highest. So the approach speeds, the, uh, 134 and 207 the approach altitude will be initially 4900 yeah then turn left oh 6000 is all yeah. missed approach altitude. so 6000 missed approach altitude yeah 
Okay. So, 160 Meilen noch bis zum Platz. Okay, we have now prepared our approach. Uh, if you allow to have a look, this is the approach that we are following. And uh, everything is clear now, and uh, in a few minutes we will start our descent for landing in Tbilisi. Now there is one specialty in Tbilisi. Normally we have a glide slope of uh, 3 degrees down. Uh, in this case we have 3.2 degrees. This sounds very few and very less and not that dangerous. But it is very important to have that in mind because uh, the aircraft is getting very, very fast if you configure it too late. Engine anti ice on, tickers below. Und der Status einmal checkt. Uh, one other amendment to the approach chart. Uh, we have an, just an information uh, which says do not mistake uh, Vassiani military airport for Tbilisi airport. Heavy turbulence with downdrafts and wind shear may be expected on final. Okay. And height maintained by radio altitude is difficult. So, yeah, due to the uh, surrounding mountains, so we have to take this into account and be prepared for some kind of stone drops and wind shears. All right. Those clouds do not look that inviting. Small part of the rainbow. Oh, nice. What about the weather right now? Cloudy. Or is it ground clutter? No, I don't believe that. Could be the mountains are in the north. Confirm. Have the uh, weather radar oh. for a short time again. Okay. Don't seem to be ground echoes. Yeah. 1000. <coughs> Trying directly into it, right? Approach to lock door 192. Decline and change frequency 146 today. 146, turn Air Force, approach. Tipsy approach, good day to Air Force 5, 6, 9, 100, 1, 4, Okay, as we expected, uh, we are getting radar vectors to the final of the runway 31 left. Okay, and ground contact. Go in. Ich 
Spiel auch schon um. Ja. Yep. Approach Checklist. Approach. Status. Checked. Altimeter. 1014, 11200. 1014, QNH, 11200 feet. Land elevation. Uh, 100 and, uh, correction, 1700. Approach Checklist. Completed. Tower one nine decimal zero. Okay, we have some clouds we are passing now with heavy rain. weather was not forecasted. the lights. <laughs> All right. You already see the airport? Should be left beam. Ten miles left to beam. Oh, not really inside. ILS Runway 31 left is identified. Thank you. Uh, we'll give you a direct for the 130 DME TBC. 500 to go. Checked. Alstar. Checked. One zero one five four thousand five hundred sixty. One zero one five QNH one thousand four thousand five hundred seventy. Okay, I suggest to configure early. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sled fifteen. Yeah, sled fifteen speed checked. Six nine and left three four zero clear. Out four three one left four seven. Nee, ist die Military Basis. Yes. Das ist echt verwirrend. Really? Flaps 15. Flaps 15. Speed is checked. Das ist wirklich verwirrend, du. Localizer ist alive. Ja. Lockstar. Checked. Das ist schon auf 
Land gehen, weil der ja. Land geht durch. Gut, Input Lockstar, Glides Lockstar. Ein 6000 Feet ist der Mr. Project Attitude. Ja. Der Besiedler ist bei 69 Established INS 3-Wand. Straight ahead. Ja. 5 hat sie reported. Ja. So 40 degrees off from the left. Manual flight. Ja. Even with 0.2 degrees more descent. Ja. It's another picture. Ja. Yeah. Exactly. For information, Echo is the first on the side. Understood. So, engine anti is off, weather radar off. It's off. 500. Checked. Runway straight ahead. Inside. Continue. to taxi down the whole runway, make a 180 here on the runway and taxi back to Echo, which is at the beginning of the runway. So we will do as demanded. Yes. Oh, after landing items, sleds up. Sleds up. Stand one zero four after the gating for the 
So, habe ich hier. Stand 1 0. Ja. Okay, ist. Ja. Brake. Brake. Start procedure. Brake. Temperature high. Brake fan on. Delay take off. Primary complete. Clear. There it is. 114, right? Uh, stand 14, yeah. Georgia. That's pretty cool with this valley right in front of the That's really nice. point. But on the other hand, concerning downdraft and wind shear. Yep. Anti-Ice, off Trim Tank Mode, Auto, Fuel Ground Transfer, not required, we are taking fuel, Park Check is completed, welcome to Tbilisi, so, oh, der hat sich auch verabschiedet hier, bei deinem harten Touchdown, ja, yeah. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Captain Stürmer. I'm the company commander of the Armored Infantry Company number four from the Battalion 391 in Thuringia, Germany. The last four weeks, my company and me, we were conducting a noble partner exercise with 13 nations. After four weeks of uh, hard training and exercise, we are very happy uh, to have the Special Air Mission Wing to get home very fast and very safely. We are shot prior our way back to Cologne and uh, at the moment we have, uh, we have completed all our preparations uh, so that we are ready for departure. The last thing I have to do is uh, walk around to make sure that everything is safe outside and uh, nothing will happen in one route. So come on, follow me. First we will check the static points and the aircraft engine. In this moment we check for damages or fixed plates or loose plates and whatever, alright? Now we're checking the wheels, the front wheels of damages. Later on we also have the main wheels, but that will come later. We check the main uh, hull of the aircraft uh, for damages and if all the locks are closed, this is very important. Also here our latches have to be closed and the static force have to be free. Night flight is very important that the lights are working. So this is one additional point. Everything is good. Again, we have to check the wheels for any damages. And what is more, we have the brake wear indicators, these ones. And they have to be all right so that we have enough braking power to hold the aircraft. All the doors and latches have to be closed and locked. Finally, we have the same side and uh, the same on this side now. So I just walk on and we leave in the aircraft again, right?
Okay, I'm done. Finished. Everything is all right. Just some final instructions for the pushback driver, and then we are good to go. Come on. Ready. Good. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot, sir. Okay, take the departure briefing. So um, we're expecting the uh, Lagos Tri Alpha um, departure, uh, which is climb on runway heading to 5000 to reach this altitude not later than 10.8 DME. Uh, Tango Bravo Sierra, thereafter left turn 200 track, then turn right intercept uh, Tango Bravo Sierra radial 2.5 to Lagos. Yep. Um, concerning the uh, Climb gradient, which is for the Lagos Tri Alpha departure, 5.4 percent up to 5,000 feet. There are 5.1 percent up to flat over 140. So uh, a climb rate of nearly 1,000 feet per minute, which should not be a factor. That's no factor for us. Yes. Perfect. Um, no questions. Then the takeoff and departure brief. Yeah, take off departure brief uh, will be a right seat, a noise abatement, toga takeoff. Uh, 15 zero with uh, calculated with zero wind component and uh, in case you enter fire fire after go the special use it as brief before otherwise the Lagos tree alpha a departure we requesting a flight level 300 um, for our final level or copy no questions go ahead for Five six five, five six nine. Destination Kiel. We have waited on route initially on runway heading climb flight level one zero zero. Set for six seven six one. Departure frequency one four thousand six. Terminal four five six nine is cleared to Cologne via flight pad route initially climb runway heading up to flight level one one zero. Squawk six seven six one and departure frequency uh, one three four. Dispatch six. Confirm with record. Now push back and start with the push, you need to run 0-1-6, station, Oscar, time 2-0. 1-7-1-6 is copied and start with push approved, German Air Force 5 6 9 May I release the parking brake? Yes, release parking brake. Parking brake is released and we are ready for pushback and ready to start all engines. And all engines clear. Roger, starting engine 2. Okay. Engine 2 start. So may dim the floodlight. Thank you. Count, we are ready to start the engine one. Okay, number one clear. Engine one start. After start items. Ich denke gerade, was braucht denn hier so, aber es ist der our parking brake is set, engines are running. Please remove towing equipment and steering pin and give hand signal. Okay, we go signal on the left side. Have a nice flight. Okay, thank you very much for the service. Okay, as initially climb flight level 110 and uh, this one heading select. Yeah, perfect. Taxi items, slats 15. Slats 15. Full right. 
Full left. Taxi checklist. Taxi, anti-ice. Off. Trim. Zero, zero. 1.5, nose up. Zero, zero. 1.5, nose up. Flight controls. Checked. Slats, flaps. 15, zero. Taxi checklist completed. Roger. Airborne approach for 69, that's Right side is clear. Left side is clear. Uh, off block 20. Off block 20, oh, yeah. So initially, climb uh, all around my heading up to flight level 110, so heading select. Affirm. Genau. Six doors and slide. And config norm for takeoff. Yes. I have no amendments changes for the takeoff briefing. In case of any failure fire after go, perform the special AOZ. Initially nine miles straight ahead, uh, Tang Pro Sierra, thereafter left hand turn back to Victor Papa, then right hand turn to November Alpha Beacon and joining the holding on 312 inbound left hand turns. Acceleration until we are inbound Victor Papa and we climb to 7000 feet. Copy, no questions. Lining up and wait, runway 31 left, German Air Force 569. Before takeoff items, uh, country light, yeah, English country light and uh, radar. Yeah, with radar. radar. Yeah, four degrees north up. Waiting until we are aligned with the runway. Yeah. Away. Yep. Okay, approach sector is clear. Clear lineup and we are ready for departure if you yeah. are. Okay, weather radar is on, 4 degrees north up. Deep is now, German Air Force 569, ready. German Air Force 569, let's take off on runway 31. Zero degrees, five knots. Whenever one contact approach, one three four nine four six. Good luck. Remember, five six nine is cleared. Uh, for takeoff runway three one left, and up the airborne approach uh, one three four. That's six. Danke. Ciao. Okay, ready. Uh, before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff cabin report. Received ignition. Country light. Pax on engines. Auto brake. Max C4 takeoff checklist completed. Prof heading select. 15 0. Max Prof heading select. Ready. Ready. Takeoff. You have control. Accept control. the brakes. You have control. I have control. Takeoff power set. One hundred checked. Go. Rotate. Gear up. Gear up. Yep. Germany Air Force 5, China, strong left, we are direct north. Left and 
after. Standard 117. Standard 117. Takeoff inhibit is cancelled. After takeoff checklist complete. Danke. Running. Half past eight touchdown in Cologne. Could see the lightning. Oh really? Yeah. So we are through. I think engine anti ice is obsolete. Oh. Nice. But it's only four knots. Yeah, it's only four knots. So for me, also I'm fine with with uh, ILS from a two four. Twenty four five six nine. Then radar. Good night. Radar contact. Continue descent. Radar one three zero. Fifteen hundred or more. Continue descent. One three zero. Fifteen hundred or more. German Air Force five six nine. Okay, ILS runway two four. Uh, let's make an uh, runway setup. Yes. Uh, Frequency 109 at decimal 1. 1091. Inbound 243. 243. Alright, now there are 
there aren't any beacon, uh, published beacons, so um, we will take the uh, Kilo Bravo Oscar remote on uh, one and the uh, Rombe 2 4 in very distance for a set. Yeah, the minimum uh, for set 2. Four, seven, two. Approach speeds uh, will be we approach uh, one three six knots. Green dot two one one. All right. So um, approach briefing. Uh, rate directed ILS from runway two four. Initial intermediate final, 3,000 feet, out of Kukit, inbound 243, uh, 2 degrees glide slope, minimum uh, 472, uh, fixed frozen altitude 4.6 dB KBO, 1,630 feet. In case of this approach, climb straight ahead to 5,000 feet when passing 3.5 dB KBO or 16.2 or 2,000 feet, whichever is later, right turn to Vipa VUR. MSA from our sector uh, 3,100 and within 15 miles 2,800 feet. Acceleration in 1,900 feet. And that completes the approach briefing. Okay, all copy, no questions. Yeah, so we'll ask for the ILS runway 24. Roger. Uh, just keep the runway 32. Yeah, it's right beneath it. Yeah. Okay, so I will um, take the opportunity and uh, hand some information, some less information to the passengers. All right, so you have control. I have control. Ja, wenn du guckst, noch mal einen schönen guten Abend hier aus dem Cockpit. Wie versprochen, noch ein paar äh, aktuelle Wetterdaten von Köln. Ähm, wir werden noch circa 20 Minuten bis zur Landung brauchen, sind bereits im Sinkflug auch 20.000 Fuß, ähm, noch 80 Meilen bis nach Köln. Das Wetter, äh, keine Wolken am Himmel, ähm, wir haben noch angenehme 23 Grad, schwachwindig aus nordwestlicher Richtung. Wir hoffen, Sie hatten einen angenehmen Aufenthalt hier bei uns an Bord. Ähm, ich habe schon gehört von einigen Kameraden, dass Sie noch ein längeren Bustrip nach Thüringen haben. Dafür alles Gute. Ich hoffe, Sie finden ein bisschen Schlaf auf dem Weg, eine staufreie Heimreise und Ihnen alles Gute. Tschüss. If it's okay for you, I would fly manually. Yep. Make the flight, make the thrust. Director, schönen guten Abend. German Air Force 569, flight level 70, heading 245. German Air Force 569, alert, descend 3000 feet, 1015. Descending 3000, 1015, German Air Force 569. Approach checklist. Approach. Status. Moment. Checked. Altimeter. 1015, 6700 feet. 1015, 6600 feet. Land elevation. Is 300 feet. Approach checklist complete. Yeah, green dot speed, bitte. German Force 569, right 270. Right 
direct Rarix, please. Tuna 5690 cleared LS3 to right. 2900 cleared LS3 to right. Tuna 4795. Alster. Yo. And land mode activated. Yeah, thanks. Direct to UPS 2070 sending through 10,000 flight level HZ. Get down. Get down. Flaps 20. Flaps 20. Flaps 40. Flaps 40. Final checklist. Final speed brake. Armed gear lights. Slats flaps. 3040. Final checklist complete. Approach and be out of marker. Yep. Are we already cleared? No, don't think so. Nope. Gemini Force 569, approach and be out of marker. Roger. Ah, oh, there's yeah. one aircraft ahead. One traffic on the runway. Yeah, the side.
After landing items, slats up. Kommt dann der Ryanair gecrossed? Ja. Ja, slats up. Wing 442, wir sind 0 degrees and 100 km reicht, geht weg auf Schlau. Wir sind clear to cross, right? Ja. Okay, no further traffic. Evening Tower, Ryan, 33 Bravo Julian, approaching Alpha 1, fully ready. 3 to right, clear for takeoff, rolling takeoff, Ryan, 33 Bravo Julian, thank you, good night. Zero zero speed brake disarm anti ice off turn mode auto fuel count transfer not required parking checklist completed okay thanks a lot. <laughs> 